Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel, and in this video, using this part as an example, I will show you one advanced feature of FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. In FreeCAD you can, for example, create your own 3D models for 3D printing. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe, and if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me for my work, you can support this channel. You can find the link in the description of the video. Now let's move on to FreeCAD and create a new project in the Part Design Workbench. Let's start by creating a sketch on the XZ plane. And I will draw two circles here. The first one with a diameter of 50mm. The second one with a diameter of 30mm. OK, let's draw one more circle with a diameter of 70mm. Next, select the Polyline tool and draw a shape like this. Right click to finish drawing the polyline and right click again to cancel the polyline drawing command. And now we will add constraints. Here let's add a symmetry constraint between these two points and the Y axis. Let's do the same with these points. Now let's add a constraint that defines that this line is horizontal. Next add a tangency constraint between this point and this circle. And let's do the same with this point and this circle. OK, now Let's add a distance constraint between these points of 20 millimeters. Let's define the length of this line, here also 20 millimeters. Let's add a distance from this point to the origin of the coordinate system of 70 millimeters. Right click to cancel the dimensioning. Select this point, select the circle and add a coincident constraint here. And here we also need a few more constraints. Let's add a constraint that these lines are equal. OK, and let's add a distance between these points of 40 millimeters. OK, we have this shape. Now we will trim off the unnecessary parts of the geometry. Here, during cutting the circle, too much was cut off, so I pressed Ctrl Z. I right click to cancel the cutting command, and we also lost some constraint here. These points are not connected, so I select these two points and add a coincident constraint. And here, if I add a coincident constraint between these points, selecting this point, selecting this point, and choosing the coincident constraint, pressing the C key on the keyboard, I cannot add this constraint. But I will try to do it in such a way that I select this point, select this point, and add a horizontal vertical constraint. OK, here I will also change the diameter of this circle to 60 millimeters. OK, we will leave it like that. I close the sketch and based on this sketch let's add an extrusion of 15 millimeters. And click OK and we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch and we will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. And here we will create a segment of the solid only on this face, only from this side. First. Select the Create External Geometry command to create reference geometry based on these edges. Right click to cancel this command. Select the Polyline Drawing command and draw a polyline somewhat like this. OK, the point here is that the polyline points should be constrained to these geometries and now add a dimension between these points of 10 millimeters. 
and click OK, close the sketch and let's add an extrusion here of 20 millimeters. Next, select this edge and let's add a fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters. Now, on this face, we will create a sketch and create here a sketch based on which we will add a hole in this solid. Let's start by creating the external geometry. Next, select the circle drawing tool and draw a circle with a diameter of 8 millimeters. Right click to cancel this command and select these three points. And we add a symmetry constraint here. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we create a hole in this solid. OK, we have something like this. Now select these two edges with the control key and add a fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters and click OK. And now, to get a solid based on this, which I showed you at the beginning of this video, we select the multi transform command and add a mirror operation here. Right click and select add mirrored transformation and add a mirror relative to the YZ plane. Then right click again, add another mirror. This time based on the XY plane. And then we right click again, add another mirror, this time based on the XY plane. And click OK to confirm. And here it may seem that these solids are separate solids, but it is one single solid, and these lines that are here, like those joining lines, result only from the display of geometry in FreeCAD. If you select the last operation and change the refine parameter from false to true, the solid will look like this. Regarding changing the appearance of the solid, right click here, select the appearance option, and we can define the appearance based on one of the default materials, or we can simply define the color of the solid. And in this way, with these few simple steps, we created something like this. FreeCAD is a powerful tool when it comes to 3D modeling. That's all for today, we will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.